The rain before the cyclone. But today, some good news for the Territory's largest city. The current track takes the system further toward the Kimberley coast. There remains the possibility that the system could move to the east to the top end. The warning for Cyclone Annika is still in place for other parts of the top end and Western Australia, with the potential for wind gusts of 100 kilometres an hour tonight. So today we are issuing a cyclone warning for the Northern Territory from south of Dundee through to the WA border, including Bois Air. The tropical low is still sitting over the Timor Sea. Over the next 24 hours, it's expected to become a cyclone, with a warning zone issued for the northwest of the Territory, with a more significant impact projected for the Kimberley in WA, including Kalambaru. One of the largest remote Aboriginal communities in Australia, Wadair, is in the warning zone, Darwin and the Tiwis in an extended watch zone. Police assuring locals there'll be ample supply in remote communities that could have roads cut off. Expectations are that power and associated uh, infrastructure would be carefully managed both locally and by the uh, power utilities group. There's no, no plan for any evacuation of any community in the Northern Territory. While it appears Darwin will be spared a cyclone, one thing is for certain, there's going to be rain and plenty of it. Parts of the Territory are forecast to receive more than 100 mils over the coming days. By Sunday night or Monday morning, the Kimberley is forecast to have destructive winds with gusts up to 130 kilometres per hour along the coast from Columbaroo to Wyndham. From next week, Annika is forecast to weaken, hopefully leaving limited or no damage to Australia's north. Miles Holbrook-Walk, ABC News.